Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm here with the last game of the season for the Washington Senators. Not Nationals, even though I have my Nationals jersey on. Um, but it's, uh, it's interesting, since I have a few minutes, since I'm only going to do one game today, I've got a few minutes to talk, and so let's take a look at the... Uh, Let's take a look at the league. And uh, what you see here is that Washington is not in last place as they were in the real 1955 season. And in fact, we are playing five games better than the real um, Senators did in 1955. We're at 58 and 95. And we are... Um, Three, four, three, two. Two games ahead of the Orioles. So even if we lose the last game of the year, we can't lose that spot. And uh, let's take a look at um, why that's the case. Now, really why that's the case, as I can tell you right now, is that I probably I overused players and some players played way above their heads. So, um, let's see here. Well, Shikaylees, we could have used him a lot more. I don't know why we didn't, because he really, but, but you can see Shikaylees, for what he pitched for me, he pitched better than he did in real life. In real life, he had a 457 earned run average, and for uh, me, he had a 325. He was, a, in real life, a negative .3 war, but in our season, he was a point four. Uh, now you can see I overused um, Webbo Clark, and and in real life, Webbo Clark had a four sixty four earned run average, and for me, he had a three sixty six. You got uh, so let's see. Now this guy underperformed, but he didn't play a lot, so it didn't really matter. There are some other guys, though, that definitely that happened to. Um, Juan Dells played a little better, but he didn't um, have to play much. Now, Bruce Edwards was another guy. I, I massively overused Bruce Edwards, and um, he also overperformed what he did in real life. His real life batting average was only 175 to 187 for me, but his on base percentage was 396 compared to 356 in real life in 68 at bats. Now you're talking about 396 in the replay in 283 at bats. So he played a lot more and he was a little better at getting on base and went from a negative 0 0.4 war to a 0.6 war. Um, Fitzgerald was another guy. And actually, Fitzgerald didn't even overplay, but he did play better than he did in real life. In real life, he only hit 237. For us, he hit 256. And he had a 346 on base percentage as compared to a 318. And again, he went from a negative war to a positive war. So... So that happened. And then uh, Growth was another guy. No, no, he, under, yeah, he underperformed and he didn't play as much. I, I was thinking of somebody else. Um, but let's take a look through here. Um, Korchak um, overplayed, or he didn't overplay, but he, he did overperform. Of course, he didn't even get as many at bats as he did in real life so um and then there's gonna there will be guys that underperformed as well but here you can see mcdermott as far as hitting mcdermott overperformed now here's the here's the kicker he was a pitcher as well and you'll see in a minute that he underperformed as far as his pitching went but as far as his hitting, he hit 314 for us, and in real life, he hit 263. And in about the same number of at bats, the at bats were, you know, comparable. But now you see in this pitching, he was 12 and 12 in real life with a 375 earned run average. 
and a 2.7 war. But uh, for us, he was 11 and 13. The record, not too much worse, but he had a 531 earned run average, and he was a negative 0 0.9 war as compared to a 2.7. Uh, let's see where else we got. We got Oravets, and that Oravets was a guy I was thinking of. He massively overperformed. He didn't, um, he did overplay, but not to, um, an egregious, um, degree. He was only 26% more, um, in his overplaying as compared to real life, but he hit 344 and had a 405 on base percentage. As compared to in real life, hitting 270 with a 338. Um, Camilo Pascal, he didn't um, he didn't um, over overplay, but he did um, slightly overperform his real life. He had a 532 um, ERA for us and a negative 0 0.7 whip, whereas in real life he had a 614 earned run average and a negative 2.7 whip. Carlos Paula is, uh, well, he uh, he massively overplayed because he played every day. Didn't get injured, he played every day. But he only slightly overperformed. He had nine home runs as compared to seven and the nine was in a lot more at bat. So actually, home run wise, he didn't overperform. He hit 302 as compared to 299, which is really kind of close. And the war was close too. He had a real life 1.3 war, and for us it was 1.2. So he really didn't overperform, but he did overplay. Um, Bob Porterfield, he slightly overperformed. Uh, but he didn't, um, he didn't overplay though. Pedro Ramos, um, Pedro Ramos, the pitcher, he was slightly worse. Pete Runnels, Pete Runnels overperformed. He didn't overplay. Well, he, I mean, he did, but only slightly. He was only 1% over what he actually did. But he did uh, overperform a little bit. He hit 303 as compared to 284. He had a four war as compared to 1.5 in real life. Now, Johnny Schmitz was much worse. He pitched about the same number of, I mean, he was roughly in the ballpark for what he actually pitched as far as the number of innings. But he was much worse for us. He had a 507 earned run average as a, compared to a 371. Um, so let's see what else we got here. Seavers, Roy Seavers, he underperformed. He also underplayed. He didn't play as much as he did in real life. And he was worse for us than he was in real life. For us, he had a 1.7 war, and in real life, he had a 3.9. Now, Stobbs was a lot worse. He was ridiculously worse. He uh, pitched about, you know, right in the ballpark of about the same amount. But he had a 692 earned run average for us as compared to five in real life. And... Uh, a negative 2.5 war as compared to a negative 0 0.7 in real life. Now, you know, I mean, I know that Strat likes to make these guys, you know, these guys with five ERAs, especially a five ERA back in 1955 was horrendous. So I know they like to make them worse just to, you know, add a little, you know, to make sure that they're bad, but they also say that they're tailoring it to the league that the guy plays in based on how the rest of the league, you know, all of the other teams hit, you know, and that type of thing. So I, so this is a little perplexing because I did play him the exact same schedule in the same exact league. There were no different players on any team. So it is a little 
kind of a head scratcher there that he did that much worse. Uh, Dean Stone, he was also worse. Um, he first he, of all he, he underpitched. So who knows if he had pitched 216 innings instead of 167. But he had a 506 earned run average as compared to a 415. And uh, he had a negative 0.1 war for us as opposed to a, a positive 1.8 in real life. So, and Valdiviso massively overplayed and he overperformed a little bit. He, play, he got um, almost 200, uh, like 180, he got like 180 more at bats and he hit 241 instead of 221. And he had a 308 on base percentage instead of a 280 and a 1.9 war instead of a 0.1. So, Mickey Vernon, Mickey Vernon overperformed. <clears throat> he didn't overplay because that would have been almost impossible. In real life, he had 646 at bats. For us, he had 617. But he did hit 319 as opposed to 301 with a 390 on base percentage, although in real life, he only had a 389. So, he uh, definitely... He definitely overperformed, although really, according to war, he didn't. So I don't know. I guess all in all, it was about the same. You looked at everything because in real life, he had a 5.9 war. And for us, he had a 5.67 or a, or a 5.6. I don't know where I got the seven from. So let's see here. Anybody else? Yost. Yost uh, did about the same, roughly. And you can see that he ended up with a 4.9 war in real life, and he, he had a 5.1 for us. He hit 249 for us, but he hit 243 in real life. He had a 427 on base percentage, but a 410 in real life. So he was roughly the same guy. So there, I mean, that's probably what it all boils down to. I overused an, uh, a few guys, and we had more guys overperform their cards than actually underperform them. So we go back to the league statistics, and you and you can see, there we are. That's led to playing five games above what we actually did. So we are going to get on with the game. Let me uh, turn down the sound. Although that never really helps, but I'm going to do it anyway. And uh, <clears throat> we will get the game going on. And the last game of the year, and it is against um, Baltimore. So we're playing Baltimore. We will put in play day. And I'm going to play some guys that um, didn't get to play all year because Baltimore can't catch us anyhow. Um, we want Baltimore to be the computer, and we want to be the human. Schmitz is fine pitching. Um, but let's... Uh, Yost didn't quite play as much as he should have in real life. We'll let him stay on. But second base, let's see. Let's go get another second baseman. Yeah, let's go get Dallas. Del, 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 I don't know how you pronounce his name. Uh, Vernon at first base will replace him. <clears throat> Got to have somebody that can play first base. So let's take a look here. Oh, Bakur, he didn't even play at all. So yeah, let's put him in. Then you got Seavers in left field. Let's see if we can find a left fielder. Yeah, we can get uh, Lemon to, pick, to play for him. He uh, can't get overused by doing that. 
Paula will keep in. I, I like call Carlos Paula. We'll keep him in. Uh, Umplet, we will keep in. Fitzgerald at catcher. I just passed a catcher. Um, Bruce Edwards is one, but here we go. Korachek, and he did not play. He did not overplay. Valdivizo at shortstop. Let's see if we can get another shortstop. Yeah, this Courtney guy probably should have been the backup catcher all year, but instead I had Bruce Edwards, but understandably. So, uh, although really, yeah, maybe this guy should be the catcher. Yeah, we'll put him in at catcher, not Korachek. Um, but now we're looking for who? A shortstop. This guy didn't even have a position, and he only had eight at bats. It would be fun to put him at short, wouldn't it? But no, we're not going to do that. This guy also didn't have a position. Okay, we can put Klein in, I suppose, at shortstop for Valdiviso. And uh, I'm just going to keep the lineup like that, too. So we'll just, we'll go with that. And now we will play ball with this bad lineup because, hey, the Orioles can't catch us. So let me pull this down so you can see the names. Or though, really, you can't see the names too often. But And then let me put myself up here. And then we will get underway. <clears throat> Which Smith on the mound, and he's giving us a single leadoff single to Chuck, Chuck De Deering. And that brings up Willie Miranda, <clears throat> and he's going to hit, get a big hit, double, double over Umflet's head. Uh, I'm going to stop the lead runner. That brings up Dave Philly. Um, Baltimore obviously trying to exact revenge for having been relegated to last place. Played players, and we don't know. The computer may have played, you know, players on Baltimore and Chicago and other teams too. Single one to five, and they're going to get that. Man, Schmitz is having some seriously bad luck here. And I can go to the bullpen as early and as often as I want to. Also, Ground ball to Deli, and he throws him out. So they only got one run from all that. Eddie Yost goes up, and he's going to be out. And we're going up against Bill Wright. Here's Dallas Deli. He strikes out. And that brings up Bakur. And he is out. So we get no runs in the first. And Fred Marsh is batting against um, Schmitz, and we'll see if that gets out. Let's see if Lemon can rob him. Probably not. He did. He's got it. So it's an out. Billy Cox is up, and he's popping out. And Bill Wright, and he's going to strike out. That brings up Jim Lemon. And Jim Lemon's walking. He's the walking man here. Carlos Paula, come on, man. Had a good season, but he strikes out. And that brings up Umflip. And the Umflip man is popping out. So we will go to the top of the third. Courtney up, and he's lining out. Uh, 
Deer bring is up and he walks. Miranda is up and we're going to throw the runner, of course, but we don't get him. So Miranda at play and he's doubling in another run. So I think I'm probably going to be taking Schmitz out when he comes up to bat next inning in the bottom of the inning. Dave Philly is up and he's going to hit a single. I'm going to throw for the runner because we have to get that run. I'm going to let it go for a play at the plate. No, he's safe. So it is 3 nothing, And another single. Trinidos getting a hit. Abrams is up and he strikes out. So that's one out. Thank you, Schmitz. Hal Smith is up and he walks. So the bases are now loaded with birds. And we have... Fred Marsh up, and he is going to hit a ground ball, shortstop, double play. Oh, no, 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 wait, yeah, probably still. So, Bobby Klein is up at the plate, and he's out. And we are going to pinch hit for Johnny Schmitz. Let's go to the pinch hitter pool. He is a lefty who's a one R. So I want a righty. Yeah, I guess we'll go with growth. And he's out. And that brings up Eddie Yost. And he walks. So, Dallas is up, Delhi, whatever, and he runs out, and so we are out of the inning. We're down three, nothing, no hits yet. Let's go get another pitcher. That will be uh, Abernathy. He's a long reliever. Not a good one, but, you know, right now we'll take what we can get. Billy Cox strikes out Abernathy with Big K to lead off the uh, top of the fourth. Right, the pitcher is up and he strikes out Abernathy. Kane, the first two guys faces, which is a good sign, especially for his statistics. And Daring is up and he hits a ground ball. So we got Bakur up at the plate. And he hits a ground ball. He's out. Jim Lemon's up. Man, those home runs in that third card. I love them, but he hasn't hit them. And Carlos Paula. And Carlos Paula is out. So we are headed to the fifth. Abernathy is still pitching. Willie Miranda up, and he's grounding out. Nobody nope. has gotten on against Abernathy, which is crazy. Dave Philly is up. Dave Philly, though, breaks that string by hitting a single. And that's going to be a pass ball, so Philly will go to second. And Trent Dose at the plate, and he strikes out. Abernathy pitching pretty well here today. Abrams is up, and yeah, he strikes him out, too. He's trying to get statistics down. Knows he's got a limited... And number of innings to do that. Clint is at the plate, and he is out. Courtney is up, and he singles. Clint Courtney with a base hit. Bobby Klein up at the plate, and he's going to hit a double. Nice. Now, if we're close, we can get a run. I'm going to bring in a string of pinch hitters. I'm going to hold the runners. I'll bring in a string of pinch hitters to try to uh, get the run back. But we're going to take him out. We're going to take Abernathy out and pinch hit right here. He is a lefty who's a one hour. Uh, Uh, 
let's see. He's a lefty who's a 1R. Yeah, so we'll pinch hit core check. And he is not going to get hit. Eddie Yost up with two down. Come on, Yost. We need a hit here. No, he lines up. So we didn't get any runs. But we took out Abernathy, who was pitching out of his mind for today. So let's see here. Curry has actually pitched well, despite... A uh, minefield of a card, but let's go. Let's see what about Hyde. Hyde has overpitched, so probably we don't want to do that. Um, Stewart. I guess we'll go with Stewart. He um, he's overpitched, but only slightly. Um, so we'll, we'll pitch him for an inning or two. And he gets, uh, held up Smith to ground out. Fred Martin pushes up and he's going to hit a single. That brings up Billy Cox. That is going to be a, a probably a hit and run, run and an out. So there's two down with Bill right the pitcher up, and he's pitching well, so they'll let him hit, and he strikes out. And that brings up Dallas. We're still down by three runs. Leo McCour is out. No chance on his card, so he really had to hope he got on Bill Wright's card. And that brings up Bob Lemon. And he is out. And I will let Stewart go again, even though that'll put him like three innings over for the year. He walks here. Well, they'll put him three innings over if he gets through this inning. Fly ball to the center. So that's Umflet. He's a good fielding center fielder. And he should make the play, and he does. One down, and Dave Philly. And he is going to get a base hit. And we're going to throw for the runner. No. Keep hoping it'll come through. And that's going to be a ground ball short, but the infield's in, and uh, yeah, that was a double. That was a double asterisk, so um, it's actually a base hit. That's going to be a strikeout. Abrams is out, but now we're losing five nothing. And L. W. Smith up again, and he's going to hit a ground ball first. But Coor is a two, and that is an out, but. We go to the bottom of the seventh, down by the score of 5 nothing, And Carlo Paula at the plate, and he's going to hit a fly to center. So that's Abrams, who's a four, so maybe he can misplay it or not get to it. And that is exactly what happens. Humphlet's up, and he's going to hit a ground ball. So he's at first. Courtney is at the plate, and he strikes out. And Bobby Klein is up, and he's going to be out. Well, I guess uh, Stewart gets to get another inning, unlikely, but uh, it happened because he didn't come to the plate. So he gets a fly ball. Billy Cox gets a ground ball. And Bill Wright. And they're going to pinch hit for Bill Wright. Oh, they are. They are. With Jim Knight. Duck. And he gets out. That was That's surprising. Because he was cruising. So let's see if we can break through on whoever the reliever is. And the reliever is Fritz Dorish. 
And now, Stuart's up, so we will pinch it now. And he's a righty who's even, so I know that... Um, McDermott is a left-handed hitter, so we will pinch hit McDermott. And he flies out. That brings up Betty Yost. And he's hit by pitch, so he'll go down to first base. Bottom of the eighth here. Lead up, Dallas. He pops out. Brings up Booker, and he's going to hit a ground ball. Against Marsh, he's a three, and he got him. So we do have to bring in the new pitcher, and the new pitcher will be. No, he's tired, so we'll go with Pascal. Pascal is not tired and can relieve. He is a ground ball to Klein, and Klein makes the play. So Moran is up, and he gets a hit. They, they've gotten these low number hits all game long. Dave Philly is up. But he hits into a double play that ends their ninth inning. And now we have to get five runs right here. I could send up the string of pinch hitters right here, but I'm going to let Jim Lemon hit. And he flies out. All right. Who we got up? Carlos Paula is going to hit. And he gets a triple. So that was a good call, although I still need five runs and I have only two more outs to work with. And I'm going to say no, don't advance. We need, uh, we need hits and runs. On Umflet, I'll let hit. And he gets a fly ball center, and that's a four. That's Abrams. Is it over his head and to the wall? No, he makes the catch. What kind of... Yeah, okay, the run came in. So we did get a run. And Courtney is up. And he is going to hit a ground to short. That's Miranda. He's a one. And that is the game. So we lose the game five to one. And as you can see, league stats, we do finish one game ahead of Baltimore. So there is that. And uh, so that was an interesting uh, season. It was interesting to see that we ended up, we came back from like four games behind the pace to five games ahead of it. And a lot of the um, contributing factors to that were in play even, you know, even early on. So it is strange that it, it took a come from behind to do it, but we did. And so that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.